Tyson Fury is currently suspended by the Nevada State Athletic Commission after a very tough fight where he sustained injury with Otto Wallen. What up, fight world? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the gang gang. Notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Sign up for ESPN Plus below. I am an affiliate working with Disney ESPN Plus. It does help the channel. The, you can get the Nate Diaz, Jorge Masvidal fight and order that. Use my link. November 2nd is going down. Jeremy Stevens has an upcoming fight. The Diaz Masvidal is a pay-per-view, of course. Should be a good fight. Now, Tyson Fury was in quite a hellish fight himself versus auto violin nobody knew who he was and as you guys can see it says suspended by the nevada state athletic commission and that's until the 14th like a week before thanksgiving november 14th this is not good news in my opinion for tyson fury because the nevada state athletic obviously he's not fighting anymore this year but this the reality of it is this the Nevada State Athletic Commission realizes the type of trauma and injury that was sustained. So they put a provisional, you know, a normal. This is Tyson Fury's face during the fight. You know, they put it. It's, it's real standard. If someone gets knocked out or sustains an injury, they put like a 90 day suspension on them. So even if you tried to come back, you wouldn't be able to fight in their jurisdiction. You get what I'm saying? because they're looking out for your long-term safety. Tyson Fury's cut was really nasty. I got an unpacked video where Wilder says he's going to reopen the cut. And this was just overall a bad fight for Tyson Fury. Very bad fight, bad performance. Now his trainer's coming out and saying he overtrained and Tyson Fury calls everyone a bum. It just wasn't that type of performance. Against who he was in there with, it wasn't the type of performance where you would want that to be your last performance before a rematch with Wilder who gave you all the problems in the world. And then on top of that, you sustained injury. So you're even being suspended and can't just, you know, go back into training camp. You have certain times in that you have to wait before you could start sparring and stuff that just all that. That's not good to me. I'm trying to show you guys some pictures. That is not a good thing. I think Tyson Fury, he felt himself a little bit too much. He got this ESPN deal, those types of things. And look, look how deep that is. You're going to go into Wilder and that, that's that's your last fight. That's how you were looking like this. And then on top of that, he won a unanimous decision. You see, it says after early cut scare. There's no going back on that. You know, you could say, oh, he got through it and stuff like that. But he went through that. Anytime you have anytime you have a cut. It's subject to possibly get open up again. Wilder says he's going to he's going to target that. And he has Fury's number, those types of things. So. I just think the Wilder rematch, if Wilder comes past Luis Ortiz pretty unscathed, then there's no way I'm picking Fury to beat Wilder. I think Fury's team messed up big time by trying to cherry pick instead of going into an instant rematch with Deontay Wilder. And then the, the cherry fought back and put him in a precarious situation. And now he's suspended. He can't spar for a certain time. It's just looking bad. He already avoided the rematch, the immediate rematch. Frank Warren has done an interview and he says if Tyson Fury is not 100%, then he's going to not let him fight Wilder. So, you know, it's going to look like he's ducking Wilder again. So, look, you see what people say, Wilder by KO. We'll see. You know, we'll see how this all plays out. But that wasn't the type of performance that I'm sure Ty Tyson Fury, his team, and Bob Arum and everyone wants. And then 
I thought this was this is a quote from Tyson Fury post fight. He says, Deontay Wilder, I want you next, bum. That was overcompensation. You just went to war with somebody who wasn't supposed to be able to even take you to a war. And you come out the fight looking like this. And then you're calling Wilder a bum. You know, it just doesn't even sound like the, those two things make sense. So to me, that's just that's just hot air. And, you know, we'll see how it plays out. Wilder obviously has to get past Luis Ortiz, but this wasn't a, it, it, this was his team seems in discord too. his own pops said that he's going to get beat with his current team and he needs to dump the whole lot of them. Just all of his his people in his corner because they're not they don't know how to work with his style or they're not conducive to his growth. I don't know. I think Tyson Fury still partying and, you know, being Tyson Fury and thinking he's above it like he can drink you know be a part-time drinker part-time entertainer and then a full-time boxer and it kind of came back to um haunt him in this fight this is why you have to expect the unexpected now i give credit tyson fury did show heart it's not like he did what anthony joshua did and folded and quit or gave up but again this going in against a killer like deontay wilder i don't think this was the right look and then things came out and now you have to explain now ben davison is his young trainer is saying that oh tyson fury overtrained and he was eating bad the week of the fight and derived from the game plan so it just looks like discipline issues and if i see this then i know the other champions andy ruiz and deontay wilder obviously who's signed to fight him in february see it so it just looks like a bad look for tyson fury any signs of vulnerability like I said, if if me, a random fan of boxing, can pick up on these things and physically you could you could see this cut looks like very grotesque. You know, that doesn't take rocket science to see this, see his deep, see his face is bloody. You know, it just you just put a bullseye on your back. And this is what Tyson Fury's team gets for not going into the immediate rematch, trying to manipulate the board and put him in light touches. Eventually when this happens this is what happens in boxing you see someone who's unexpected and not expected to give you any trouble and you're picking them for the exact reason why you picked them because you think they're no match for you it is an easy win like tom schwartz and then something unexpected like this happens so there's no rewinding that now tyson fury's suspended he has to let the cut heal and the stitches dissolve or the stitches heal and the world already seen it so Good luck going into the rematch with Wilder should he get past Ortiz. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. We work. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.